Recording this computer. Okay, we're live or we're not live. We're recording. <laughs> we're recording. <laughs> right. Thanks, Victor. Let me just share my screen real quick. Hopefully, the temperamental part is fast. So you should be seeing the merge request page of fifteen hundred lines. Um, just to give you a little status update. Um, over the past couple of days and, and weeks or so, I've been working with Mario to split up the work regarding um, the front end and the back end. And let me just go real quick to this part. All right, so here, if you guys want to follow along the evolution of what's done and what's not done, that's exactly the status right now. Uh, as we identify things like optimization of, of low level stuff, and tests, we're gonna keep adding here so that we have the full visibility of the front end part. Um, so the ones that are checked are supposedly features that are working and working well enough to be checked, but some of them still need to be implemented. So these were, we're waiting on backend that we got last night that we can now implement uh, and a few other things just hasn't been addressed. So right now, this is um, um, an EE installation. Uh, I always have this thing just that I remember that I'm on EE. Um, and yeah, so basically it looks all the same with the batch comments enabled as if it didn't have it. But once we press the commenting thing, that's the only difference we'll see is the buttons are different. Instead of having just one to comment, that will have those two buttons. So as soon as we start testing, it will allow, let me just move this out of the way. I'm already happy, Andre. I don't think you need to demo anything else. <laughs> <laughs> All right, wait, it's more. Just kidding. More. Um, so once we start a review, the bar will pop up at the bottom, right? To submit the review with the count. Uh, and as we add more, another test, add to review. Or we can add comment right now, right? That comment is just basically a regular comment. It doesn't go into the review. Then we click here. Then we add another draft. Oops, we add to the review, that count will come up, that count will come up, and that count will come up. Could you um, add a comment to one of the, the discussion threads? Exactly, so that's, that's, that was going to be my next stage. Oh, okay, so sorry. here, <laughs> since it's inside a, a discussion, we already have this checkbox to resolve a discussion. That's awesome. But right now, this is kind of like a dead thing because that's exactly what I'm working on right now. It's, uh, so that the, because we didn't have that, the backend support as well, so we, we just got it yesterday. And the point is the, the discussion, sorry, the draft will store whether or not to change the status of the, uh, of the discussion. So if you write this, so I have, I'm not even checking if the discussion is resolved or not, but if you did this, then when you add to the review, it would show here on the pending, right. That's another thing that I haven't get, gotten to work yet, which is displaying the, the discussion, the draft on the thread because we just got support for that last right. night as well. Uh, but ideally in front of the pending uh, here would show, we'll resolve a discussion, right? That's the, the proposal for the, um, by the UX from Pedro. Uh, right. I can show you one thing that I prepared for you guys to see how it's displaying right now. So Pedro, we might need to, to tweak it a little bit because right now this is the draft. So let me just select it. So this is the draft, right? The one on the top yeah. is the actual comment that was there b b before. So we don't have a lot of visual distinction. And I don't think we had that specified on the mockups. So I, after this is uh, properly dis displaying, I can send you the link and you can play around and you can tell me how we like to show this in particular. Yeah, good point. Yeah. Okay, just play, make a note of that and then we can talk later uh, on that. The other thing that we haven't done yet is the actions of the draft that is also on the to-do list. Here, I believe, not yet, right? Maybe we need to do that too. Because as far as I know, we are supposed to allow editing the drafts, right? Yeah, editing and deleting should be supported. Exactly, so add actions to draft, edit, delete. Um, mm -hmm. So this is how I'm doing things so that I don't forget anything going forward. Great. So apart from that, the pending part is basically just saying that it's pending and then when you click here you should be that is also part of the part that we just got yesterday to publish the review um and you'll be able to just from any of these buttons you'll be able to publish the whole thing uh, right away the next feature that we have 
planned for after this we'll have the the preview popping up and everything but right now uh, this is pretty much the the status of things as it is one thing that i wanted to highlight though is that so far none of the batch comments manif manifest themselves on the um, on the discussion tab right so the drafts are only present on the changes as well as the bar so pedro i don't know if you're if that is exactly how you intended but one thing we did try to do is like the this bar kind of like keeps aligned to the center when the collapsed bars are done just to make sure that so, they're always in tune yeah so the the idea would be uh to make it available um so when creating a discussion from a code line, so it's what you were showing just now, so you always have to navigate to the changes tab to add a comment uh, on a line of code. So that's yeah. exactly what we were aiming for. And also when replying to a discussion, which was what you were showing right now uh, okay. before. And that could happen from either uh, the changes tab or from the discussion tab. Okay. So do you think it would be worth displaying the bar also when they are in yes. the discussions? So yes. basically all the time, all right? Yes, yes. Uh, because, I mean, you could be like moving around between like tabs, looking at one thing, looking at another. Um, and, and I think it's important to note that you still have these comments to publish, uh, even though for some reason you went to the other tab. Um, and this could give the impression that you uh have lost the comments or that they i don't know people could be freak out for some reason and then they okay. have to go to the changes tab yeah that's why I, that's why i brought it up as well right now it's implemented this way more, just because uh, it's in the diffs yeah mario applying to the discussions by the way and like you you i already support um the diff replies and the regular discussion replies so that should just work yeah it's a matter of the front end uh, so basically what we did is cool. i added that to the diffs app and this is a different app. It's the notes app. So now I just have to find that shared component thing that it just shares everything, but the, the story is already shared between the two. So it's fine. So the it's a matter of making that effort. Yeah. So the, the only place where it wouldn't be available right now, because, um, uh, we still haven't, um, implemented the new designs for, um, so basically in the future, we want to get rid, if you go all the way to the bottom on this screen, like we want to get rid of the comment and then you have to click to open that uh, drop up where you choose if you want to comment or start a discussion. In the future, we want to get rid of this and there is already like issues, UX ready issues to do this. So it's just a matter of time before we get rid of that and essentially you will just post comments and then reply to comments. So you, you don't have to think beforehand if it's going to be a discussion or a comment. But so this is just to say that for batch commenting or reviews or whatever we want to call it, it's the only place where we are not going to have that functionality is when you are doing a comment here. So in this form, this is the only place it's going to be, it's going to feel inconsistent, uh, but it's the only place where we're not going to support it because okay. uh, we might as well like do it all in one go. So you're finally leaving it as it is. Yes. Okay. Yes. Cool. All right. I'll, I'll, I'll keep that in mind. Um, apart from that comments, feedback. Um, so this is basically the status right now. And we have, uh, basically now also one, one of the things I wanted to highlight is that there's a lot of work that we have to do to split this feature onto EE because so far the, the merge request refactor was done on CE. So everything on this code base is based on CE. And we're basing this not only on EE, but also with a license check. So we're going a little bit of out of our way to make sure that the, co the conflicts will be as low as possible. So we're trying to make a good separation between the code between CE and EE, which adds a little bit of an over of complexity on the front end part in terms of organizing code. I'm checking with Phil because of his experience on the web ID uh, is very useful. And I might pull him in to help me out at the end of the, like of the stretch to, to get to get the tests in order and that sort of thing. But just to, 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 um, to raise visibility that the fact that it's a split feature between CE and EE adds a little bit of unseen work that it's not on the UI. Um, 
apart from that, I'm open for comments and feedback and ideas and, and anything you guys want to say right now. Um, if you can scroll back, Andre, to uh, just one of your examples there. I forgot uh, the latest designs and, and probably th this looks new to me. So, so I'm sure Pedro uh, added some <clears throat> more awesome designs, but um, I was curious about the, the resolve discussion piece. I forgot how that worked. Was supposed right. to work. So this is basically what we see right now on the, on that form, right? Right. Um, uh, and then when it's yep. pending, it will display discussion stays resolved. Oh, right, right. Okay. Or if discussion will be resolved, depending on this. On the and so that, that hasn't been implemented yet. I think. No, no, no. That's what I'm working on exactly okay. now. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. But yeah. even even this screenshot is a bit um, bit of a lie. Sorry, Pedro, because it's not in a discussion, right? This is just a solo. Yeah. Exactly. Right? <laughs> this would be this would happen if it's in a thread. Although that will right. we can read through it. We can read through it. Thank you. <laughs> One thing, one thing though, you have a smiley here. Um, are we supposed to be able to put smileys on drafts? Uh, no, no. It's, just edit only, and delete. Yeah, it's just the edit and delete. It's a good point. All right, uh, All right. that's fine. Right. Um, so you, you were saying that it's it's a, a lie. Uh, and <laughs> <laughs> no, but just to so one thing that we have today, uh, which is kind of, I don't know if it's. I think it was just for simplicity, is when you start a discussion in a line of code or something, uh, I think you can immediately say uh, if it's going to be resolved or not. Um, maybe I'm, maybe uh, I'm not um, I know what you mean. Let me just have a look real quick. I'm not well, that, that's comment and resolve, right? Or is, is you talking about that, Pedro? Or? Yes. Yes. Can you can you already do that from an, a new comment? No, you can't. Okay, I'm trying it now. You can't. It's only when replying. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So you were absolutely correct. It's it's kind of a lie. Cool. Uh, just for the. <laughs> yep. Yeah. But we'll, we'll, but we'll we'll take that into consideration though. And then and the the yeah. other the other side of it. So it, there are actually uh, uh, four states i think which is in that little note which is discussion stays resolved it was if it was already resolved and the user clicks the checkbox so they don't affect the resolvability of the discussion so stays resolved uh, there's also the the other which is discussion uh is not always, resolved and it starts it will be resolved when you post the draft yeah, so you have four states. Discussion yeah. stays resolved, will be resolved. Discussion stays unresolved or will be mm -hmm. unresolved. So, yeah. Yeah, we already discussed that with Mario. That's why he was nodding yes. Because we, we yeah. okay. covered cool. that, those cases as well. Because the point is, uh, the interface will then translate that to what I sent to the, to the, to the backend, whether we want to change it to the state or not. Uh, we have that sorted, but as soon as we have that, of course, we're going to go through you and, and make sure that it's working as you. Okay, cool. Yeah. So we might, we, might, we might tweak a little bit of the copy because we don't have the copy for all of those, but we'll just yeah. throw something in and we'll check with you exactly. and do the next demo. Yeah, that's 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 uh, the best approach. And uh, next time I already know that you're awesome and you've already thought about that. So <laughs> <laughs> good. Yeah. So in terms of plan uh, of getting this work out the door, um, as you probably aware, it's not going to be ready for the 22nd. However, uh, I am pushing as much as possible out of my way to focus on this. Um, uh, we just got help from from my team to to help with the hiring so that I, that I can like focus more on this. And um, we hope that over the next couple of days, this will evolve in the direction that we all want. And by next week, I hope that we can start with the reviews and and tests uh, that that we'll need to get this merged. So um, yeah. That's it. More comments, Victor. I think I think you wanted to say something. Uh, uh, just I think you, did you already demo the case where you add comment now to an existing pending comment? I think you did, right? No. So the point that we discussed at the time is that when you have a draft, you that's the last of the thread. You can add you can't add multiple drafts to a discussion. So as soon as oh, I right. add here, so I think I have one here because I I had to prepare it uh, manually for for you guys to see. Mm -hmm. Uh, where is it? Oh no, it's on the changes tab. One second. So yeah, it doesn't really so make sense because you can edit case, uh, a draft. It doesn't right, really make sense exactly. to have multiple drafts to the same discussion. Right, right, right. You can so basically, 
and but it, it but it also prevents you from adding uh, a comment now if you've added a draft. Right, you would yes. have to send that comment. Yeah, so you would have, have to, which is yeah, which is totally fine. Yeah, I, I mean that's like a really crazy weird scenario. <laughs> that, like, why would you do that, right? So you should just delete your comment or, or change it to a um, add comment now scenario. So yeah, it's not it's something that in the future we can tackle, but for for now, for simplicity, yeah, no, I think I, best to just skip it. That I don't way. think we should do it. Like it's, it's just a bad feature. Like it's it's encouraging <laughs> yeah, weird behavior. Oh, you, Leave it. You're going and, advice against it. All right, all right. Yeah, like I, I think that this is bad, and then. I like the pending thing. Is that, uh, is this the pending, I guess this design question, is that pending for associated with the discussion or with, I guess this is associated with the comment, right? Yeah, that was what Andre was, was mentioning is that, uh, and, and it's very well mentioned, is that the, the mock-up that you have in the issue, it's like a very nice state uh, because path, yeah. it's, uh, yeah, it's the happy path because it's, like the first comment, so there is no discussion right. yet. Okay. Uh, and so when you put it in context, like you're seeing now as a discussion, it's not clear exactly, oh, what, what is pending? Wh where does my comment start? It's kind of, it blurs everything. Okay. So, so yeah, I have to review the, the, the pink oh, Maybe with the pink, yeah. The I think the pink, the pink is, is a good choice. I think. Just highlight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I, I like pending because we argued when, when Hazel, when I argue, we, we discussed a lot about the word draft. Yeah. Um, and which was uber confusing. So I like how we're not using the word draft anywhere here, yeah. which is good. Except the code. Good. <laughs> well, well uh, I'm not going to comment. Yeah, but we're fine, with, we're, we're fine with that. Uh, but yeah, but we because about the about word actually, draft is already, the word draft is already used, right? So I, I don't, I'll let you work through those use cases uh, or, or those detailed cases. But yeah, there's, there's yeah, draft. exactly. Draft save on the the browser draft. Yeah, yeah. And then, but now we're not calling we're we're calling these pending comments, and then we're calling the entire object a review. A review, exactly. And then you're calling submitting it um, or discarding it. So I think that's nice that we have that demarcation of terminology. So there's no there's no confusion like what. The yeah, hell. I think it got better with that iteration that Pedro. Uh, yeah, I like that. I like that. Cool. Is the is the the thank you is the discard review working? No, no, yeah, we got the published service yesterday uh, on the back end, and I will work on that over the next few days. Uh, as soon as I have this thing, I can I can send you pings. And if you want, um, there's nothing stopping you from checking out this branch and trying it out. Um, but right now, it's still a bit broken here and there. But I'll I'll keep you posted on the channel as I as I add more things. Yeah, if you want. Yeah, when when it, when do you think it's in a good place for me to review? Just let me know. So it depends on what's coming my way over the next couple of days, but mm -hmm. I do expect that by next Monday, uh, and we're going to be together on Tuesday uh, in, in Braga. So, right? And tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yeah, also tomorrow. <laughs> you don't know that, but we will be at the same co-working space. Okay, that's fine. Bye. <laughs> so yeah, so we can, do, we can do that together, but regardless of that, I, I'll, I'll try to keep you updated as I, I add things to the, to the thing. So if, if you want to test it out, feel free and uh, send feedback our way. What we really don't want is to get surprised at the end. So now is a good time to, if you're for missing anything, like we just did, like I didn't, I didn't add a point here, of course, we wanted to know. We, we knew we were gonna have this, but it's good to know that we don't have this, the smileys thing. Uh, it simplifies and we have- Yeah, the I mean, I don't think it makes sense to- I didn't even- I, I didn't add even, smiles to your own comments. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, some people do that, but some people are weird. I mean, yes. yeah, even, even to before. Your drafts? Not yeah. to your own drafts. Like, why would uh, you Exactly. <laughs> not to your drafts. <laughs> um, that's, that's, the, that's what led us to stop people from upvoting their own uh, merge requests or comments or whatever. And we just reverted that. So people are weird, man. Well, it yeah, is. I would argue if it's more work to leave it out, then we leave it in. But uh, I, I don't. Yeah, it's not. Yeah. I'm not going to be a strong it. advocate either way. Exactly. <laughs> so, okay, well, we do want to more? support quick actions, right? We, we, we need to make sure that we end up supporting quick actions on the draft notes as well, so that you can just assign it to somebody else as part of the review process. Uh, but the, but then they would, be, they would be processed when it's submitted, right? For real Zoom. That's right. right, right yeah. They would be processed when they're submitted. Okay. So one thing I wanted to check on that, Mario, is I don't think they're working right now. Uh, uh, yeah, right now I am pass I am passing it through the node creation pipeline, so it's okay. um, 
everything, but I didn't test uh, that quick actions actually work. Okay. So uh, yeah, that, that's I just want to make sure that we add it to the description so that we don't forget to test that path as well. Yeah, because I remember there's a, there's an issue that someone opened. I think it was Remy. I think he opened an issue because the quick actions are now working on the changes tab, and he believed that he used to do that back in the day. Oh, okay. uh, I've never done it. I don't remember exactly if this was there before the refactor, but as you can see here, it doesn't say that the quick actions is supported. Yeah. If you go to the discussion, mean, uh, reviews it uh, are supported on the discussion path as well. So you can send, uh, you will be able to send draft notes in the discussion tab. Yeah. If there's already a comment, if there's already a discussion, you'll be able to do a draft uh, reply to that discussion. Yeah. So that's uh, where quick actions would work. All right, we'll have a look. And my point is, if it's broken right now, I think we'll have to fix it somewhere else, not on this merge request. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so if it's broken on the changes it. tab, then we cannot add it to the changes tab. But we should, uh, like right now, it should work on the discussion tab. Yeah. So after you yeah. add, after you add it to the discussion tab, uh, we we should remember to to uh, make sure that at least it works, that it works there at least. Right. Yeah, so okay. I, I I checked the UI is not great, but you can definitely use quick actions on like Mario said when you're when you're doing code review essentially, which is which is weird though, right? Like Mario, you you argued that you want to assign somebody, but um, were you seeing like an actual code review? Like you're talking about a line comment, or are you talking about just like regular commenting, uh, a like non uh, non, non line comment discussion? Right. If you are doing a, a code review, then when you're done, you want, you're probably going to want to like sign it back. And because we have quick actions, you'll think, well, maybe I can just add it to my last draft. That's, and that's, then a, fair, that's a fair use of it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, that, that's, that's a really weird one. That, that's like almost a new use, case, right? Because you would expect, you could, you could, for now, like if it's like really hard to support, we can ask the user to some click submit review and then you type in another box yeah if it's assign, if it's broken in the changes tab then yeah. we should do it we should fix it later but right, if, right, if either way yeah. because so, there's additional crazy use cases where you have like 10 quick actions and i don't even know if that would work they contradict themselves yeah con contradicts yeah. fine because we, we always have contradictions and then the back end i assume will just just throw up but then can the back end even handle like 10 of them in like sort of like siri shortcuts whatever like you have workflow now <laughs> essentially so like yeah we can handle multiples uh I like like in know. series right because you're i assume you're just posting the comment one by one to the database and then you're processing the quick actions one That's by great. one um then we've just invented like a feature that Ooh, yeah Apple, so on that, on that, <laughs> let me just say this thing that right now they don't have the quick actions on the change on the diffs comments. And when we have the preview, if I'm not mistaken, Pedro's idea was when we show the preview and you publish, I think there's a chance to have a text area there that we can add a comment to publish as the finalized review thing. So there it would make a lot of sense. But right now on this merge request, on this iteration, we'll definitely look at supporting quick actions on the discussion comments, not on the diffs. Everyone agrees? Yeah, yeah. 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 So we, we, I, I just want to make sure that we remember that use case because it is going through the node creation pipeline already. So we should get it mostly for free. Yeah, I saw that on the code that I'm using as well for the, for the, because I'm reusing a bit of the code of the notes. So it's there. I just haven't like delved dip deep into it, but I'll, I'll definitely look at that in the discussion staff. Cool. Yeah, and I'm looking at the I'm looking at the current like production. It doesn't say comments applied when you do it in a code review set like a line thing. So hopefully we won't get like ten commands applied <laughs> like bars for you. So that yeah, like like when you do it here. Yeah, in the new in a new comment there, it doesn't work. If you're replying to an existing discussion, it works. Oh. Oh, is that right? Oh, okay. Yeah. I didn't even know that. But yeah, I I just didn't see that commands applied thing. So uh, okay. I, I just checked it right now, but whatever. Yeah, there's probably a lot more crazy. So the only reason, so we're not going to support this because it's broken and someone else is fixing it. Is that it? I don't uh, even know. Somebody else I don't know if it's it. broken. Yeah, it's I, I, broken. I don't think it's broken. I, I don't think it's, well, I've never seen it explicitly used, um, but Mario, maybe yeah. you have, but I, I haven't seen um, 
quick actions used in like attached to a line review, a line, line comment? I mean, mm. yeah, I, I, I actually do not really, did not have a use case for uh, quick actions in the changes tab until now that we have a review because as part of the review, you might want to change. Exactly. No, no, I totally agree. It's a, it's like a new, it's like a new yeah. thing. I totally agree. Yeah. Yeah, this is uh, identified. It's on the create side and it will be right. handled there. So whatever we do there will affect, of course, the batch comments by then once oh, okay. we, yeah. But right okay. now it's cool. not, not, not working, right? Okay. Well, no, I think just autocomplete's broken, right? It says that being said about quick issues are still in your set of the... Uh... Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. He says that it's incomplete, the label, but I think what it's actually, with what he says... Um, yeah, it still adds. I'm just looking at the descriptions. It still correctly still adds a label. So the back end yeah. still works. It's just the autocomplete. Ah, right, right. Just the autocomplete. Yeah. Right. Right. Okay. We'll definitely look into it um, sure. and, and keep you guys posted. Anything else before we move to the la to the other point? Yeah, I have a question. Um, is it Go. possible for multiple people to add a code review on the same merge request? So these yes. are personalized, is individualized per user. So you'll only see your drafts. So you can have your drafts, other people would have their drafts, and they will publish whenever. Is that the question? So yeah, if two people are posting a code review at the same time and they both hit submit review, both of them will show up? There's a chance for conflict there. So what we've been thinking about right now is uh, to just uh, publish anyways. So if, if you're replying to a discussion, for example, and you think that you're going to be uh, the, re the reply right after the other person, but somebody else hits publish first or just comments in that discussion first, then um, and then there's that uh, edge case, right? Like, what do you do? Do you just add the reply anyways under the new comment that showed up? Or do you error out and have the user fix that? But uh, for the initial, at least, uh, we were thinking, well, just publish it anyways, and then the user can delete or whatever they want to do. And then, because then it would need more um, more UI work, right, uh, to handle those error cases where you have to say, hey, this changed. Do you still want to publish it? Gotcha. OK, cool. Yeah, I, I, would, say, I would say all that is still, it's still consistent with what we're doing right now. It's just. Like it's a difference in degree. It's just made worse because you can save like 10 draft comments. But like, for example, right now you can open a page and you can add a comment to a discussion that was like just deleted five seconds ago. And then yeah. maybe like it didn't, ref your browser didn't refresh in time and you hit submit and like something happens. I don't know what happens, but that's made like infinitely worse because you have like five comments instead of one comment. So there's no, yeah. from that perspective, it's the same error. Yeah, although that question also uh, just reminded me that I need to make sure that we handle the case where uh, two people start a draft for the same uh, line in a, in a file. Because right. I think we, we can only have one discussion there, so that will be a conflict, so I, I'll need to handle that in right. code. But even from a back-end perspective, wouldn't that be almost like you get that for free in terms of like... That already happens today, right? It's, it's yeah, awesome. I mean, like, that, yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, you, that already that can happen today, right now. Yeah, it can happen today. I just don't know if we do it for free or if we would okay. error out or what. So I, I'm just making a note to remember to check. Sure. I yeah. think that currently only two separate discussions would be created on the backend side. I mean, two separate discussion IDs. Okay. Right. So then and you would just you would have like essentially. You have inconsistent backend data from that perspective, right? Mm, well, no, there will be just two separate uh, discussions on same, uh, related to same, same row. Yeah, but well, okay, I mean, so from the front end, that, can't, that shouldn't happen, right? Like, how do you display that on the front end? Are you saying you're talking about two threads on the same line? Yeah, yeah, I think it is possible. It won't. It won't cause like the thing to break. It might cause some inconsistent spacing. Um, oh, okay, that's really weird. Okay, but but, yeah, but we'll double check. To, to yeah, I just I just wanted. I'm just making a note to check because sure. if if it just uh, adds two discussions and front end can show that, then it's a tiny annoyance. Not uh, and but if it's easy to fix, then yeah, better fix it now. 
Sounds good. Um, okay, thank you for the demo. We went a lot longer than, than I thought we yeah. would. I need to run because I have an interview, interview yeah. in five minutes. But anything name. else uh, on the plan, on the agenda? Uh, no, I, I, have, I have a quick point and then Rami has a point. So, uh, but you know, uh, Andrew, just, just jump whenever you need to. Yeah, I will. Um, so I Thank wanted... you so much, Andre. Awesome. Yes, definitely. Um, so I just wanted to, to show uh, this board uh, for 11.5. And then I, I started putting things into here and here. Uh, and then I didn't put any do 20 second here because it gets annoying. Um, so we need to invent better boards to support it. But um, all, all this to say that I don't want to like have too much transaction. So this is especially relevant for Andre and whenever Sean gets back. So Yan and Mario can relate this to Sean, but obviously we'll repeat it over and over again. But I don't want to have to say like, oh, like, oh, 11.5 is ready. Please schedule it. Like I want it just to be ready all the time. So, so Andre and, and, and back end and front end can always look at 11.5 and 11.6 and 11.7 and have an idea of what, what's important. Um, and so, so I will do my job to keep this up to date um, and other people can, can participate as well. I'm trying to use the ordering in particular. Um, so that's why I think I found a bug and I want to I fix it. Um, but the idea here is that I think there's a reasonable number of issues. Um, and then when you do scheduling, Andre, and, 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 and back end, then we'll move stuff to a future iteration. But then I want this line here to be visible by you so you can always look at it. And so I never have to tell you that I'm done um, prioritizing issues. It should always just be prioritized. Um, so hopefully that, that'll be useful. Um, obviously, I'll, I'll still like, you know, give you a kind reminder, gentle reminder that, oh, like, uh, because like what, what I do need is <clears throat> we have to lock in the scope like by the seventh or something because there's the kickoff and all that, right? So, so that I, I definitely do need. So if anything, that's more transactional uh, as a request from me to you folks. But um, I, I don't want you to need to ask me what's, what's next in 11.5 and 11.6. So 11.5 is already here, 11.6 and 11.7 and 11.8. And then after 11.8, we don't have 11.9 because we have 12.0. So that has been already been decided by Yob and Mark and other people. Um, it doesn't really affect us in any huge way, but um, just, just good to know. And so if you look at 11.5 <clears throat> plan issues, there's around 40 issues. And then 11.6 has around like 30 maybe. And then, and then just decreasing. And, uh, on purpose. Um, and that's not going to scale very well because I just keep pushing things out and then there's issues get created faster than we can schedule them. So we'll figure something else out. Um, but right now there's like a long tail of issues that are just getting less and less with each milestone. Um, uh, but uh, I've been encouraging people like, especially on this call to just like, if you have stuff that you care about, just like, um, you know, mention it and say like, I really want to work on this. I think we should do it. I'm going to put it into 11.5 you know, just kindly uh, mention, add mention me and then uh, I'll probably leave it in or if I think, like, oh, there's really no room or we should do something else, uh, I'll just, you know, reply back and say like, oh, I moved it to 11.7 or something like that. So please continue to, you know, shove stuff in, um, but I'll constantly try to not let it, like it, we had like maybe 50 or 60 issues inside 11.5. Um, sometime last week and there's like no way we can do all that and then I, I, I moved them out into the the later milestones to make it more realistic uh, no questions comments Ramya you're up next if yep so um, this is just a suggestion I, I just wanted to understand like uh, if this is doable so um, in the process of writing test automation um, at least for the API uh, changes like uh, can we have the API definitions given a bit in advance uh, before the development starts uh, maybe what I would mean is like if we are targeting a 22nd uh, cutoff date maybe by 10 if we can have at least the API definitions or the interfaces frozen that would be good so that even the test automation code could be written in parallel and by 22nd all that okay I'm just theoretically putting it 
but we just need to try it out and see if this really works. So at the end, uh, when the development completes, it should be as simple as running it through the test code and seeing if it works. So that's what we actually want to do. But I just want to understand like, yeah, I understand there might be few uh, changes while developing it. Maybe um, a few changes are, uh, which can be accommodated is okay. But at least if 90% uh, of whatever design or the interface is decided well in advance, it would be a good thing. So what do you think? Like, I just wanted to understand uh, your thoughts on that as well. Mario? I think that would be beneficial because it would force some initial planning of the API. But also the 10th is just three days after uh, we officially start the next milestone. So yeah. <laughs> uh, you're basically saying, well, sit down and plan all your 22nd. <laughs> Which yeah, is, so I mean, we, is, we can definitely try it at least once, right? Yes. So 10th is just a random date that I came up with, but uh, somewhere a bit in advance so that we have time yeah. to write the automation code is what I actually meant. So Yeah, I think that two things. One, it's a very good idea because it will force us to plan way ahead and think carefully about the things. And we do that already on the back end and the front end as well because we get the back end to do mock endpoints for us to start working on the front end. And there's no reason why we can uh, relay that to you as well. So I, I think it makes sense and we should do that the next time. Yeah. yeah. Good point. Just, uh, anything with backend or frontend, we'll have to sit down together and actually, because usually endpoints change because backend doesn't, isn't a hundred percent aware of what frontend can send or, or needs to yeah. receive. So uh, that just means front loading a little bit of work, but that sounds good. Right. So, so is this like pretty much the same, this would benefit both front end and and testing because if you're doing API testing, right? So essentially it's, it can be piggybacked off of that existing process, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. So right. what kind right. of mocks? Go, go ahead, Rami. Yeah, so I just wanted to understand if there is any Swagger doc or something that is created or shared, how do you share the mocks? Uh, no, uh, when, when he meant mocks, uh, we just basically add the endpoints to a controller and then have him return something just oh, okay. uh, so that just so that he can get uh, HTTP uh, codes back. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, are we having plans to have Docker uh, docs in, I mean, Swagger docs in place? That would uh, be actually better, right? Okay, so these are the yeah. thoughts that I had maybe. Yeah, I think, uh, I mean, we, we can definitely think about it because, yeah, it would be a lot easier to to do the mocking with a Swagger doc. It's mm -hmm. just, we would need to make sure that everybody's on the same, uh, yeah. right. on the same level with uh, how to write them. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, and uh, one more question, maybe that's a bit basic. Uh, does the plan team own merge requests as well? I was just curious to understand like no so it's super confusing because we we just talked 40 minutes on a merge request feature <laughs> uh we we used to um plan team used to be called discussion team and discussion team used to do uh issues and merge requests and uh, amongst other things and then merge requests uh, but w never did code uh, never did like commits and branches and stuff like that and so so i, I guess in the past it made somebody decided probably my boss decided um, that, that we wanted to do that because issues and merge requests look very similar uh, in terms of like you know sidebar all those features um, but then it's also very dissimilar once you get to the hardcore code review features exactly like this one and then mm -hmm. how it becomes related to branching and merge strategies and, and all that stuff that so it, 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 it we just said that it made more sense that we live with the dissonance of the page looking different and like yes there's a lot of overlap between like merge request commenting and issue commenting sidebar there's a lot of overlap there but what you gain in in that overlap is that now the the create team which does um, uh, merge request is very consistent from like a code review perspective or a, a developer workflow perspective and i think that's probably more important anyways um, so this particular feature, it's been around, we've been working it for a while. And so that, um, now I regret it, but we said that like, oh, we'll finish it as a plan B. Now I regret it. Um, <laughs> but of course we'll, we'll try it. It's and we committed to it. So that's why we're working on it. That's why it's appearing in plan. Mario's on the backend plan team. 
and and Andre is the engineering manager for both the create team and the plan team on the front end. And he's also working on the feature right now. So that's why it's, uh, it turns out well for him because he's going to have to support it long-term anyways, because he's still the create front end man. I don't know if he's doing that long-term or we're hiring another person, but anyway, so that's why it's not, not as bad for him. But Mario will have to, you know, finish this up and lose his baby to, to a create team member. <laughs> um, but that, that, that's the idea there. Okay. Yep. Thank you. Um, and then, yeah, so I think, I think we also promised that we would have the two follow-up iterations in which I also now regret, which is uh, what yeah, Mario was, was mentioning thinking about that. <laughs> uh, the, there's like a, if you, uh, the submit review button that you were seeing in the demo, like we have a design when you click on it and then you can see like a, a summary of everything um, or, or like a table of contents. And then the follow-up after that, is on the, on the experience in the email notification side, which is to combine all the comments into one comment or one, one email notification. So mm -hmm. that is not insignificant work. And that is like, I mean, like right now we're quote unquote getting, like from my perspective, if like Andre's working on it, that's fine. You know, you know, from a front end perspective, Andre's like, he's mostly managing anyway. So then like, I don't really count him as a front end person in terms of team member. So, oh, okay, he's doing it for free and like other front end plans being worked, you know, like, oh, Mario's working on this. Oh, if only Mario can do plan things, that'd be great. So, so it's like, but then the, 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 the combining the, the comments into a thing will definitely be back. And so I anticipate there's a lot of work there. So I'm scared about that, but we'll, we'll, we'll work through that. Um, Mario, do you know if that's, do you think that's a lot of work just since we're on the topic? Just combining comments. I know every time I ask a developer that question, they always say no. It's it's easy, but <laughs> if you could give a, a it's easy on the, or, it's easy on the top, but you gotta deal with a few edge cases there. Okay. Just make sure that everything is is uh, um, uh, yeah. No, it's just add, it's just adding a lot of uh, flags to make sure that uh, each node creation doesn't uh, create the notification. Then you create them all at the end. Right. Okay. So, so the strategy is you delay the network. Okay. And then you batch it all together. Okay. That, that, that sounds, hopefully it won't be terrible. So it won't be easy, but it won't be hard. Right. I'm, I'm going to push really hard that we do the smallest thing. So we'll, 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 we'll fight that out um, in a couple of iterations with Pedro. Um, and then, and then I'm sure, I'm pretty sure this will be a really, really popular feature. So I am excited about it as, you know, as a GitLab. It's an awesome feature. Yeah. yeah. So it will make like, it is, it is way overdue. So people have been like, like flaming us for not having it. Um, but those same people it make us look good, right? The plan. Yeah. But those same people like love us afterward when we have it. So it's, I don't mind <laughs> flaming us. Um, and so for something like this, like we're, we're not the first, but we're not the last either. There's a lot of code review tools out there that are just really just doing code review and nothing else um, that, um, that have had this feature forever. GitHub has it, um, but they're not just code review. They do a lot of other things as well. Um, but, but some other tools might, I, I don't think all tools have, have this right now. Um, but Beth, definitely we're behind on like, since we're talking about code review, like for code review, like really awesome code review, tools where like there's these like fabricator or other tools where they, they, they're like essentially a plug into GitHub, right? So those companies or tools are just innovating on just code review and they're growing really fast. So we're definitely behind them. Um, I know create teams, uh, James Ramsey product manager, they're working on this like super awesome blog post to tell the future of code review in GitLab or I, I, I guess just, just develop a workflow. So I'm really looking forward to to what they tell us about there, but that's way beyond yeah. there. Um, about the, the, what we were talking yesterday, uh, it, it was more related to the portfolio management, but I think it affects everyone in the plan group as well, yes, of please. the yes. resources and things like that. Don't you, like after we deliver the, the first iteration of batch comments, do you still want to go through and do the rest of it? Are we? The, no, this should be, this should be create team. They, they should, they should, um, so we should do whatever we're doing, this MR, right? And then we should do the two follow-up features, the, um, the, the drop yeah. up or drop down, and then the, the, the email. The notifications, yeah. Yeah, and of course we have to, you know, be a 
good stewards of GitLab and just create all the issues and, and but but like all that should be transferred over to the create team from like a, both implementation and prioritization standpoint, right? Well, definitely but, but from you, an engineering standpoint, but you know, like, you know, product and design often are a little bit more flexible in how they participate in the rest of GitLab, right? But, but so you still want to do the following the the fall to follow that's, up that's issues. the well, that that's the current plan i i, I like i want to renege on my commitment but i don't think that that's really fair but that those two issues are planned issues right now so that, that that's the commitment yeah. I made before um so <laughs> i mean that that that's what that's all i can say like is it not i'm not i'm not, a, I'm not i think i'm not actively asking that we we push it out so I, i'm almost like you know like let's just get this out and then maybe we can set up with the create team and see and see what they say of course i think of course they would love you know free development from of us. course <laughs> yeah so but i think it's like we should probably just get this out and have a conversation with them and say like and see like oh what do you think um why don't why don't we give it to you and then you guys run with it um but you know uh, I'm, I'm i haven't thought about that deeply yet yeah i'm yeah I'm just, I'm just, I'm just thinking of ways to help us have more time for us. Well, know, so. everybody can contribute, Pedro, including bringing up this discussion in the relevant uh, places. So, you know, just send a message to, to the product teams and the, the designers and engineers. And say, no, yeah, and, and that's, that's why I'm bringing it up at least here at first to understand if it's still open to discussion. I, I think so. Well, everything at GitLab is open to discussion. I, I, yeah, I, I, I haven't actively brought it up yet. Um, but I think it's still up for discussion. So, yeah. okay. So yeah, let's, let's wait until this is merged and then, I mean, uh, we cannot wait for this to get merged because the, the other two are scheduled for 11.5. Mm -hmm. And I know the, the scope is not closed yet, but, um, yeah, we can, we can talk about it right now. Yeah. 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 Maybe we should start uh, massaging yeah. this idea with other people. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Let's let's have the conversation. We can we can you know, just descend on the create channel and then say like, oh, we're getting really close. Would you like to pick it up? And so, but uh, and and we could show it like, oh, it's awesome. It's really good. Yeah, but we have other things to do as well. Yeah, we have even more awesome things to do. Um, it's more awesome for them. Um, but yeah, no, no. Thanks for bringing up that page. I think I think it's a valid point. Um, given given how long this this particular issue has taken now it's like way beyond like if ramia is coming in asking like why are we doing this and then we like it's like it's weird for her it's like oh that's probably a signal that we should have transitioned this a lot longer ago and, and to have andre with, yeah doing yeah, yeah. it right as yeah. an engineering manager like he's going into code and doing these demos oh yeah and, well yeah, I, I, yeah and he's the manager of two areas right, so right, he's right. like having so much responsibility on yep. his shoulders that I don't think it's fair. Yep. Um, yeah, I mean, he can complain on his own. I'm, I'm not complaining on his well, behalf, yeah. but I'm just yeah. saying that uh, I, agree. I don't think that's the way it's supposed to work. Uh, okay. Cool, thank you. No, no, yeah, yeah, let, let, let's bring it up. Um, all right, thank you, Pedro. I will, uh, anything, if nothing else, uh, three minutes, no, nothing. Okay, so I'll put this on YouTube, uh, going one, two, three. Okay, yep, I'll do that. And I will see everybody next time. Bye now.